Hello guys, welcome back to Kobe's Kitchen where we share simple, amazing recipes. You don't have to break a bank to create an amazing meal in your home. And homemade food does not have to be boring. Thank you so much for all my subscribers and for my new ones, Karibuni Sana. I don't take it for granted that you choose to grow this channel. So today I'm going to be, sh if you just bumped into this channel, at this right moment, please consider hitting that subscribe button and click on the notification bell to ensure anytime I upload a new video, you are notified. Also, chase any nice or like button, stuff of the link. Please like my videos. It helps YouTube to recommend my videos to other viewers. So please just like my videos if you really do like them. So anyway, today I'm going to be showing you how to cook some uji. Yes, uji. Uji ngine, some wababas swear by it. I don't know, Sijui na kuanga na some stories that it has nguvu, nguvu, Sijui ni zawapi. <laughs> but anywho, I'm going to be showing you how to cook that uji. So sit back, of course, relax, and then let's head over to our ingredients. So this uji is not the kawaida uji that we cook with flour. This uji is a very different uji. That's why those wababas actually swear by it. Because ikonazile traditional foods that uh, those our workers used to eat. And I think maybe that's why they swear by it. Because it's highly nutritious and it's uh, yeah, it's something that you won't find viraisi. So for this uji, we are actually going to make it nisha boil. I really skipped that part ya kuonesha when... Uh, peeling all my ingredients and boiling that process i didn't find it necessary i found i thought that uh, anyway i'll just tell you and you'll do that so anyway this is cassava this is cassava so you need to boil your ingredients until they are they are overcooked because i don't have a food processor and i don't think that my blender is uh Energetic. Do I use that word? Is strong enough or rather aina yongo vyote ya blend is a vitu. So I need it. I need to have my whatever boiled kabisa kabisa. So there is this thing. This is the cassava. Now kikwetu tunajua that when we eat this ka ka, ka string part kenya kana kuanga apa katikati. Nili grow ni kijo kikula yu utakufa. So I'll definitely. But Growing up, na nika kuja kuona watu wakikule pia ikiwa mbichi. Maybe that was a myth, but I would rather not even try eating that katikati thing. So I'm going to be removing that katikati thing and then cut it into small pieces. So you make sure that your cassava is really, really overcooked. Like it should be overcooked. So you cut them into small pieces and use it here. So my ingredients ni cassava. This is the cassava and... Uh, as you can see, I've already overcooked my doma. So we are using cassava, doma, na pia ni me boil, ni me boil, whatever, ni me boil, ni me boil njugu. So let me, let me bring that sufuria for njugu that I boiled with. So I came to realize kumbe njugu is a boil. I didn't know. I thought peanuts ni zile tuza za ku roast and you eat the peanuts so i've already boiled my peanuts but sija sija mwaga yomaji so this is the peanut and it's actually cooked well vizuri it's boiled it's boiled as you can see it's super boiled and when boiled in a tasting kama ikona sukari i love it so we'll be using cassava uh, peanuts and doma i will i wish milk prices were not so high i would have used uh, milk as a softener for this when blending but since the milk prices are super high my goodness hmm. i'm going to be using hot water for that case so i'll kata kata this this into small small pieces i before putting it into my blender and blend but if you have a food processor this thing is super easy so you just need to boil them and then dip them in uh put them in your food processor and everything comes out smooth and uh, juicy and uji like yeah and that's it and so yeah i'll be doing this i'll be cutting cutting this mandoma and cassava into this plate before we head over to our blender so let me do that and then we'll be back so yo you need to ignore my working area and focus on what brought us here for this uji so ignore the whole working area 
because it's not really beautiful and all that so ignore it especially this part <laughs> you know ignore it and then uh, i've already cut cut my my ndomas ndoma ni arrowroot and the cassava so the cassava is the hardest and uh, ndoma is quite uh, quite whatever quite softer so i'll start with the ndoma I'll start with some tundoma. So I'm not actually going to overload the blender because as I said, I na yongo mingi ya ku blend izi vitungumu. So if you have a food, you need to invest in a food processor to make this one. But anyway, we move regardless, we move. So I have put a little bit of ndoma and a little bit of cassava and then uh, the groundnuts that I told you we had boiled in a sieve komaji so I'll put a handful actually my hands are super clean so don't mind and it's home we really do this at home so I'm going to be putting a handful of the of the boiled peanuts these are boiled peanuts and to give it a mix i'm going to be adding hot water however if you have milk please use the milk for the rich flavor yeah so this is hot water so i'm going to just add in some hot water to just give it a mix just like uh just to cover it hot water to cover your ingredients yeah and then i'm now going to give it a pulse for it to do its thing so i'm just going to blend uh, everything until it's super smooth so i won't i will skip that i won't put everything on camera to skip the noise and everything so i'll, ju I'll just show you as i put a uh, pulse and it blows up and then show you. gone smoother than I expected but again don't overload your blender alright so yeah this is the progress so far you need to have a very smooth not co not a coarse a coarse whatever uji it should be super smooth so far i hope you can see it so far it's coarse as you can see it's super coarse but you need to have a smooth one but uh, the, for the thickness so far it's nice the thickness i recommend equal heavy so don't add more water so i'll continue blending it until i have a very smooth smooth what smooth paste paste like thing so this is what the, that the uji that those were bus were by mm? it's super amazing but coarse at the moment so i'm going to be to be blending it up with uji and then we can sweeten it up with some honey or rather some sugar because it are uh, a run out of honey i'm going to be sweetening it up with sugar so yeah that's what i'm going to do and uh, you can Blend this up a lot of it, put it in your fridge, and then kitu inyatutako kifanya ni ku warm it, just warming it in your microwave ama kwa sufriako. So I'll continue blending it until I have a very, very smooth paste or rather puree. Yeah. So this is it. It has actually stopped being coarse and I decided to add in the sugar so that it can blend in nicely. So we'll look at the texture as we whatever as we pour it in this bowl. I'm actually going to invest in buying nice white bowls because where presentation is key. So let me show you how it pours out nicely. And wow, this is that that uji that those were baba swear by so enjoy it it will actually keep you full for so so long it's actually super nutritious and i would highly recommend for even infants above six months so this is an uji that you would uh, give to i would advise to give to those small breastfeeding babies so try out this recipe and let me know how it takes you. See you on the next one. Bye-bye and subscribe if you haven't.